Good morning. It is Friday, September 3rd. Uh, chit chat. Well, the fish are fine. Um, I did go down yesterday. I bought six tetras. I was going to put three on one side and three on the other side. Um, I put them in with Oscar just fine. You know, um, the tetras are pretty. You know, it's nice to see their flash of color in there. And they stay small, uh, so they're no threat, you know. Then I put the other three on Felix's side, and Felix immediately killed one of them. So I hurried up and rescued the other two, so they are over with Oscar now. So Felix is going to have to live the life of a hermit. <laughs> that's, that's it. You know, unfortunately, I did lose one of the Tetras. Um, Felix decided he was going to get nasty. He doesn't want want them sharing his space. And I said, well, okay. So Felix is going to be forever the hermit, with the exception of the algae eater. He's, he's okay in there. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't uh, try putting any other fish in with him. So um, yeah, he will live the life of a hermit. And that's okay too, because usually they're a pretty solitary breed. Um, so that's it for Felix and Oscar this morning. But uh, today the grow light's supposed to come so I can put it in there for the plants. And um, so that's good. And coming up there will be one more book that's coming out and it will be on the reality of non-duality. Um, now I'm having him clean it up because a lot of these were taken from a site called Sarlo's and he, as he's going through these, he's going, man, these guys are really nasty. He says, do you want me to leave that in there? That, you know, because they were, I mean, really attacking me, calling names and I mean, just vile, vile. Um, and I said, no, just, you know, clean it up. People don't need to, you know, see how absolutely nasty and disgusting these guys are, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, he just goes, I can't believe you so patiently just kept answering them. And, you know, and, and, well, you know, that they, they're, they're talking out of ignorance and just, um, perceptions and uh, they don't like that you've gotten somewhere where they're not at, okay? <laughs> That's it. A lot of it comes out of the, you know, being ridden by the green-eyed monster of jealousy. And uh, so, you know, the green-eyed monster was riding them hard. Well, let's say that. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyway, so it will be cleaned up. I'm not going to you know, have all that nastiness in there that uh, they wanted to project. Um, so that will be coming out. Those that are interested in the reality of non-duality, what it is to live within that um, reality. Um, you know, sometimes you get the Advaita police that, that want to dispel and, and argue and, and nonsense. Um, and why don't I speak from the point of non-duality here? Because I'm dealing with people that are in the minds of duality. What do, it doesn't do any good to, to talk from non-duality um, when you're dealing with people that just want to get better things in their lives for where they're at, you know, so, you know, so that's, uh, that's where that is. Um, you know, it doesn't change the consciousness here. Uh, the consciousness remains in non-dual, okay? And, and non-duality just means that basically once like Buddha said, I've woken up, 
Okay, you're out of the dream state. You're out of Maya. Maya no longer is ruling your life. Okay, Maya no longer is ruler. And uh, one, one has totally shifted and uh, all the baggage that one had is gone. It's, it's over, it's done. Um, the illusion is laid bare. It's kind of like uh, the grand joke of the universe. Okay, <laughs> you've, you've already seen the joke of the universe and uh, so what comes out the other side is just to live life and enjoy whatever experiences come. Whereas before, when you started your journey, all you wanted to do was be out of here because it was suffering. There was so much suffering. When you complete, then there's no more suffering. Doesn't mean you don't run across, you know, difficult situations or whatever. Yeah, that still, you know, takes place, okay? But one is not caught up in it. One is not, um, you know, the mind is no longer catching on those things, glitching on it. And um, it's a whole different consciousness that, that takes place at that point. Um, so if you are interested in non-duality, what it is, what it's not, um, like I said, that book will be coming out. I'll let you know when it's done um, and out for Amazon. Okay. Uh, mercy. Well, wow, I bet Diane is getting excited. I'm a texter this morning. Tomorrow, she's supposed to be leaving for um, her Egypt trip. So really excited about that. Well, as excited as I can get, you know. I use that expression, but really, you know, here, what, another thing that happens when you're in non-duality you are just fully in the moment. You don't get anxious about something coming up. You don't get excited about something coming up because there, there is no projection. You can't project. And when something's past, it's past and it's done. It's very hard to go back and reflect on something that's happened because it's no longer in your existence. It, you are... <laughs> It's, it's a different realm. Um, yeah, but it's your normal. For me, this is normal. For most people, they would think it's very um, different, odd. Um, yeah, but for here, it's just the normal daily life now. Um, so again, you know, if you're interested in what it is to live in the consciousness of non-duality, um, what's the reality then? Then you might be interested in this book that's coming out. Um, and what else is going on? Uh, nothing else much today except for I'm feeling better. I'm getting less dizzy. So... Um, I'm going to be interested to see the next blood test, the iron test. It should be uh, going up because I'm not nearly as dizzy. Now, I still have some of the, there's still some dizziness there and some feeling of not um, fully connected, not fully, you know, that things aren't, aren't still fully lined up and, and um, working perfectly. Um, but it is definitely better. Uh, it's better to the point I got up at 4.30 this morning and, and wanted to start working on some things around here, which I've got a lot to clean up, work on, because when you're just so dizzy and depleted for years and years and years, um, you know, have a tendency that, that there's things that I need to get um, back working on and thank goodness I'm going to be back to uh, being able to function um, yes <laughs> that will be that will be nice uh, last night I watched out of Africa again such a great movie and then um, 
I did find on Amazon where she was writing. I didn't know she wrote a lot of books. I might actually get the book out of Africa because I know in some of her other writings that uh, the one that I purchased, it's called Something Grasslands, where she's talking more about her time in Africa. And um, I, there are some things in there that she talks about references that were not in the movie which will be in the book, so I might buy the book out of Africa. I love her writing style, and she's got a, a number of books out there that you can find on uh, Amazon in such a lovely writing style. They just flow, so easy to read, so um, interested in getting those as well. Um, yeah, she had an interesting life. And I think that Meryl Streep did such a great job with that. I really do like the movie. So on that note, I'm gonna leave this here, uh, go through YouTube and see if there's something to uh, read on this morning. Go get my coffee. It's done brewing, so yeah. <laughs> this morning I'm gonna have a nice French roast of course, with my tablespoon of blackstrap molasses in it. It's going to be interesting to see. I haven't been doing my blood sugar because I've been more interested during this time in getting my iron up. You know, I, I back off the blackstrap molasses some once my iron is back up, you know, to a decent level. Uh, then I may back off of some of the blackstrap molasses. But again, if you re have a really low iron and iron pills are not working for you at all, none of these worked for me. I took them for years and liver and, and spinach and kale, made green soups. Um, none of those things were working for me. Um, okay, not so well. Uh, so I started the Flora Dix or the Flora Vital and also the Blackstrap Molasses and that is actually working and it's working pretty quickly because I had the anemia for more than eight years. Yeah, I've had it for a long time and it was just getting worse and worse and worse. Isn't that right, Mitt or Max? He said, yeah, yeah, he's a good boy. Here's my little, he's my lover doodle. Are you a lover doodle? Yeah, yeah, lover doodle. And Missy May May, she's over here laying down. Oh, popped up, she heard her name. She's doing something new. Missy May May is now her version of giving kisses. She'll put her nose on my face, okay? So that for her is new, that's big. That's a big thing for her puts her little nose on my face and, you know. So um, I was thrilled with that yesterday because that's for her, is a, it's, a, it's a big thing, you know. That's a kiss, that's for her, that's a kiss. So she puts her little nose up here and uh, wants the attention. Then she'll grab your hand, you know, because the, the Chinese crests have very long, they, they can grab stuff. They're, they can grab stuff. They have very long extended feet that can grab, actually grab onto your hand and she pulls it, uh, you know, to pet her head. She'll, you know, not shy about saying, I'm a pet, it's your job to pet me. That's why we're called pets. <laughs> uh, and I take it seriously, okay? So anyway, um, that's it for the, uh, these two <laughs> this morning. Oh my goodness. And tomorrow, tomorrow it will be Hobart and myself and the second half, I think it's the second half that Milo may be on um, tomorrow with us because Diane will be on the plane on her way to Egypt. Walk like an Egyptian. So I hope she enjoys her time. I'm really looking forward to see, you know, if she's going to be able to be online from Egypt and uh, show us all the fabulous places she's going. 
yeah, that's one place I would like to go. So I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how her trip is to Egypt. That's going to be fun. So thanks for tuning in. Much love and light. If there are questions you have about readings, etc., please let me know in the comments section. I do so enjoy that. Thank you so much because I just, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't have the news on TV and stuff. Um, I'm not re getting regular TV channels and things. So I have to try to catch up on YouTube and see what's going on. So I have something to read on. So I may miss a number of things. So the questions help me uh, to keep my channel going and to know what to read on. So thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. Much love and light. <laughs> and I'll see you online. Oh, Missy May May woke up. Oh, you done with your booty sleep, Missy May May? Hmm? Are you done with the booty sleep? Huh? Huh? Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. <laughs> She's so funny. She's been wearing her halter all the time and she needs to go out. You need to go out and get the rest of it. Yeah, yeah you're, you've got a big tan line, Missy May May. Yeah, big tan line. You gonna give me a kiss? You gonna give me a kiss? Not this morning? Not yet this morning? No? No? Okay. So on that note, I'm gonna leave this here. Much love and light and we'll see you online. I'm going to get my coffee. <laughs>